Hi everyone, I'm Linda and today we're going to talk about practice journals. What it is, what goes in it, and how we can use it. One thing that I'll say before we get started, and something you'll probably hear me say again and again throughout all these videos, is that practice is a highly personal thing. What works for me might not necessarily work for you. Let's explore together. I want everybody to feel free to experiment and try out the different ideas that are introduced in these videos and find what really, really works for you personally. So back to practice journal. So first, what is it? It is a place uh, to keep track of your practice. It can take on any form, notebooks, spreadsheets, Google Documents, iPad Notes, etc. Whatever works for you. So typically what goes into a practice journal includes or and are not limited to tasks and goals for your practice sessions, notes during your practice, so observations as you try things out, what you experiment with, and then a reflection section where you can take stock of what happened during your practice session and figure out what worked, what didn't work, what you want to improve on the next day. Other things that people throw into their journals include like a practice tracker, so some kind of practice hours bar graph to track how much, track how much. you practice every day, lesson notes, as well as uh, maybe a set list of the pieces that they need to work on for the month or for the quarter. In conclusion, Practice journals can be a super useful tool where you can keep track of a lot of different things and your progress as you experiment. That way we can you can really keep track of the different things that you try out from these videos if you like them or not. Let me know in the comments if you use a practice journal or how you found using a practice journal. And thank you for listening! Mm -hmm.